Alright, so let's move next door to this gator section. And a gator is something that allows you to uh, kind of pass the audio through a gate, so to speak, and change the amount of audio that's coming through based on the length of the gate. This area here depicts two things. On the uh, horizontal part, it will depict how long the gate is, the length of the gate. So if I pull this back, you see that yellow part moves back. And uh, the vertical part, the up and down part, determines how, uh, how loud it is, essentially the output of it, which is, you can modulate here with this output uh, modulation tab and there's also a length modulation and that's really what this is designed to do is to be modulated and to add variety to your drums by kind of dynamically changing the length and the output of the gate so let's turn off this delay effect and let's turn on the gator right right over here let's crank this up and I'm going to come down here and let's try using just the kick drum so you can get a sense for how this sounds um, So that's kind of our, our full kick. Now, we want to come down here and make sure that our send is cranked all the way up. I'm going to pull this down a little bit because that's a lot of audio coming through there. So to take down the total level. The send is now maxed out. So now as I pull back on this length, here that kick drum is becoming a lot more kind of clippy. And if I pull it all the way back, it's almost just a it's a shadow of its former self, right? It's just this kind of clicky sound. And we can do the same with, say, the hats. So let's kind of draw in the, the same thing that we had before. And if we crank up the gate send, let's turn that down, not below your headphones here. Right, it's much longer when you when you pull, when you push that gate length out. You pull it back, it becomes a much different ball game. Now, what this is really useful for is for adding variety, especially in things like techno, where you like to make very subtle variations on uh, continuous sounds. You could say modulate the length. Uh, start the length here and modulate it based on this uh, modulation track here, this first track. Let's add in some extra variety there too. Just kind of change things up. And say we wanted to modulate the output with the orange track, which is modulation 3. Now what we have here is two different sorts of modulation and they'll be depicted here in this field. The uh, This horizontal part, this left to right part, will depict the length of the gate and the vertical part will depict the output which we have modulated in with blue and uh, orange respectively so if I get this going now you see this things all over the place right and that, that gate right, it's changing the way this sounds it's, it's letting some of those sounds through it's clipping others and we can change this kind of on the fly and change the release there's a, there's a shuffle control as well, which allows you to shuffle the gated signal only. So this is really more of an experimental feature. It's uh, something that you want to play around with. It's not as straightforward as the delay. But, but depending on what kind of pattern you have, this might come in very handy. If, if you have something and, and you want to create some kind of dynamism, sometimes drum beats get really boring. Uh, if you're doing something like glitch or techno and you want to create some movement, you might try using this gate, uh, tweaking this length and shuffle and release parameter and adding in some modulation and see what you get. It's a handy feature to have and of course you have to turn the send on to make it work. Congratulations my friends, you have now achieved mastery over the control section of Native Instruments Reactor's Massive. Uh, with the exception of these three controls over here which I'm sure you can figure out for yourselves, but if not this is delay amount, gator amount. Uh, total level and on off switches for all believe it or not you can turn the whole thing off if you want so in the next section we are going to move down here and check out these modulation parameters there's a whole kind of uh, galaxy of stuff you can get into here but you really have the basics under your belt now I mean now that you've seen all of this stuff you can you can start 
really digging in and getting some sounds that you want and figuring out some of the other stuff for yourself. But stay tuned because we'll get into some further stuff later and uh, some more exciting kind of hidden gems here that I think you're going to like a lot. Okay? See you soon, guys. Take care.